Hey, what's up, man? I'm playing Man Talk 24-7 here, man, with game two against It's Doomsday. And second game, I'm Seattle. He's Dallas. And this time, he's going to run the ball a lot more on me. I mean, first game, I ran the ball maybe 40 times on him. So this game, he's switching it up. There you see, third down and six. Leaving his dude wide open, running the ball with DeMarco Murray. But the thing about the Cowboys is I'm not really concerned with their run game. Because somebody is going to fumble. Whether that's DeMarco Murray when he's tired. Or Fresh Randall or Fresh. I mean, I don't even know these guys' names. Honestly. So as long as you contain DeMarco Murray. And don't let Romo get on fire. You should be pretty good because Dallas's defense is very, very sweet. I mean, their corners aren't very good. Their linebackers, they have decent linebackers. I mean, Bruce Carter, Sean Lee, you got to give them some props. But overall, as a unit, they just aren't the best defensive team. <laughs> and I definitely enjoy playing against them. But recently, haven't even been playing, man. And I've been playing 2K. I was actually playing this bum who was talking trash in 2K to me the other night. He jumped out to a 21-9 lead. He wasn't even taking the dude seriously. Then I made two adjustments, made a few substitutions. And next thing you know, the dude was down 17 complaining about a rematch. But that's the reason I don't really post 2K videos because, honestly, people aren't ready for me in this 2K. There you see an amazing Marshawn Lynch run. Are you? Oh, my goodness. Cam Chancellor with the nasty hit stick just completely floors DeMarco Murray, as I said. When you play against the Cowboys, I mean, they're going to fumble. It's really just who's going to fumble, when they're going to fumble. Now I'm wearing him down, throwing a bunch of short passes, doing the same thing I was doing the first game that we played. Just running the ball, taking my time. We're inside the red zone, but as you see, I'm not really clocking him, but I'm taking my time. I don't know how Baldwin held on to that catch right there. Make him use his first timeout. Make him use his second timeout. Instead, they gave me that touchdown. So I'm up 14-3. He already used two timeouts. I have Maxwell all over Teddy Williams like that. I don't know who was on that dude because you can't leave the dude wide open coming out the backfield. But that seems to be a common theme. We're not playing any defense, dropping interceptions, not trying to take advantage. Same play right there. That time... My corner did not play it nearly as well, and he did throw the ball. But that time, he threw the ball, and he got out of bounds. So now we need to stop him, home to a field goal, big-time shoestring tackle right there, runs the ball again, not really concerned with it. I mean, he's not really picking up any yards. So third down and nine, watching the middle of the field. Sherman forces him to drop the ball, and we home to a field goal. But uh, it's just real, real crazy. Uh, speaking of things, man, real, real crazy that that rapper Chinks Drugs died. I'm not going to act like I really listen to his music. But it is sad that he died. And I mean, he got shot 15 times. And what made it real, real crazy was I was just listening to French Montana's tape, Casino Life 2. And then you wake up and he got shot dead. And what makes it real, real eerie is another one of his boys, I think Stax, he got shot in the same place in Queens in a Porsche. So just real, real eerie. Uh, you can't be going to the hood uh, once you made it, once you're rich, because people are going to take you out. But just a sad, sad story all around. I mean... I don't know. I mean, these rappers talk about all these things, and I just assume they're immortal. I mean, they always be talking about, you know, killing and this and this and that. But when one actually, you know, gets killed, you're kind of like, dang, you know. I don't know. It it was just weird for me because, like I said, you know, I don't really listen to his music. So the fact that I was just listening to his music, you know, the night he was killed, was kind of like, dang, man, that's kind of... That's just kind of real. But all the rappers that I really know that, you know, made it. Chief Keef, that dude moved out the hood. Lil B, when he was in the hood, he got knocked out. Just going to the hood once you have a lot of money, it's just 
not really setting yourself up for good things. I mean, Meek Mill, he got out, but his boy Lil Snoop got killed in the hood. I mean, it's just not a very, very safe place. They see Turbin just walking in for a touchdown. And that really sealed the deal. Up 27 and 12. Going for two. I see his line is spread out, so I audible to Owen Trap. And, I mean, that's as easy as it gets right there. No need to run a counter with his defense spread out. Check down to the more direct run up the middle. And before he sees it coming, I mean, I'm already in the end zone. So I hope you enjoyed this game. As I said, man, people really haven't been talking trash to me. But I've really just been playing 2K, dominating 2K. People ask why I don't post 2K videos, man. I'm just too cold, honestly. But I might start posting more 2K videos. I posted some last year. You might want to check those out. But, you know, who knows? I might start posting 2K and Madden Ultimate Team, man, just to keep it fresh, keep people on their toes, man. But I don't really know. I don't know if y'all ready because that dude definitely wasn't ready. He was up 21-9. Next thing you know, down 17, so... <laughs>